Hey guys, Josie from Queen My Pawn here. I want to show you what to do when White tries to checkmate you in the quickest way possible with the four move checkmate. Everyone knows the four move checkmate is c4, queen to h5, bishop to c4, and queen takes f7, checkmating and trapping the king. So e4, e5, queen h5. Now, the problem with um, this is that you want to get the queen out of here as fast as possible with something like knight f6, but the problem is that they can just take your pawn, and that's really annoying just to lose a pawn for free like that. So I would immediately defend the pawn with knight c6. Now, they can bring on the bishop to c4, but now you can actually drive the queen away with g6. Notice that you couldn't also do that at the beginning, because like I said in my other video, you would get forked with the queen coming here, and it wins the rook. That's, for my video, the worst opening move ever played. Now notice that the white queen can't do that here because the knight's protecting that pawn, so the queen has to go back. You can see that at this point, white is just bent on checkmating you. So the best way to defend against this is just to ring out a knight and prepare castling by moving the bishop to g7 and castling immediately. So white still wants to checkmate you with pawn to g4, hoping that you take that pawn and then checkmate, but you don't have to take the pawn because nothing's forcing you to. At the same time though, there's something to watch out for, and that's g5, attacking your knight. If the knight moves away, it's checkmate, so you have to find some way to prevent that from happening. Now, most people will play h6 in this position, but that actually doesn't help you at all. What a better move is, though, is knight to d4. That attacks the queen and gets it out of the file. Some people may start asking me, why doesn't h6 help you? Well, they can play h4 and threaten g5 anyway. <clears throat> For example, uh, let's say, you know, black does something, like a6. They wouldn't do that really, but let's just say they pass the time. Uh, the knight is still being attacked, and even though the rook can come here and take, you can always take back, and the knight's got to move. And even though there's not checkmate, um, this is a really good position for white. So, you know, the bishop is defending that pawn, so this is impossible. So let's go back to the position after knight d4. That's the best way to defend against this pawn push. That forces the queen out of the f-file, so you can't be checkmated anymore. The queen has to go somewhere else, like e3, but then you can just fork them. That's a triple fork, by the way, so take your pick. Now, white realizes this, and they may move their queen to d3, but they have a bad position now, because you can either take this pawn with knight takes g4, or you can also note that the pawn on d2 is blocked from moving to d3, allowing the bishop to come out. It's totally blocked, so that's good for you. So white has to move their queen back to d1. Now, this is where the fun begins. d5 is played immediately. That looks like it um, allows e takes d5, but now you can play bishop takes g4. Something to note is that even though you could have played that move over here with pawn to d5, that looks like it gives up a pawn, and then bishop takes g4, the queen can go to g3, but they don't have that option over here. Notice that your knight is in their face, and the queen is back here. The queen is actually almost trapped, and... They can only supple with either f3, which is a horribly weakening move and allows you an easy game, or they can play knight e2. <clears throat> I'm going to promote this variation because it's the right variation to play. Notice, though, that this is a terrible position. Not only is the queen trapped, but the king can easily be checked. Can you find a continuation for black that may even win the game? I'll give you three seconds to pause the video. Did you see the winning combination, knight f3? After knight f3, that forces the king to move to f1. 
and then you move the bishop to h3. And that's checkmating the king because everything is controlled. So that's sayonara for the, for the white king. So that's basically the best way to defend against something like queen h5. Protect that pawn, and that makes the queen an easy target to be attacked. 